Okay, crew, today we're going to walk you through how you can take your standard 220 charger that Tesla gives you and upgrade it to the wall charger relatively seamlessly, okay? So there's a couple disclaimers like right off the bat. One, you want to make sure the breakers are off. Two, you want to verify that there's no electricity coming through the wires just to make sure that you turn off the right breakers, right? So you can use those like little, um, you can use one of those ohm meter devices, right? And register for, for um, amps or voltage. And then you could also use those like little pins, the electrical pins, so like you just turn the button on and then it's green if it's good and it's, if it's red, it beeps or, it sh or, or the LED shows red showing that there's like, you know, live, live current coming through that wire or voltage coming through that wire. So you wanna make sure that that you take care of that before you start tinkering. But anyway, this is the install. And at the end, um, kind of my take on the new charger and my initial gripe session with the with the standard charger. So once we get through that, you can see how it all works. All right, crew. So here we have the new Tesla wall connector. And we were replacing the old Tesla standard charger, if that's what you want to call it. Charges half the time, right? Works. Works 60% of the time-ish, right? It's Asla charger, not very good. Take it to the uh, take it to the service service centers. They kind of just shrug their shoulders, you know. Eh, it's not so great. So here's the thing: I already have the 220 run for um, the standard charger. So all we're gonna do is walk you through the upgrade from a normal typical 220 outlet to then installing this guy. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so this junction box used to be there, and now we have the junction box that's integrated into Tesla wall charger. So we need to go from here to there, right? There are four wires uh, that were previously run. You'll have the two hots, the common, and then the ground, right? So two hots, the black ones, the common, the white one, and the ground, the green one. And that's because there are four um, inputs on the traditional 220 plug, right? So you'd have two black wires, the two hot wires that go from left to right. Uh, you'll have the common on the top and the ground on the bottom or vice versa if I'm holding this thing down. But that's the idea. So what do we need to do differently to install this? Essentially taking the old box off, installing this new plastic box from Tesla. You'll probably need new hardware. I couldn't get through the wall with the standard hardware. If you're just screwing into wood, it'll be fine, but if you're screwing anything else, you'll need new hardware. And we're gonna need both these hots, and we're gonna need the ground, and we're not gonna need the common. So the common, you, we're just gonna put a tie on, and the two hots will go in line one and line two. All right, now that we have the wires installed you can kind of see the order again you don't need the common one I'm probably going to end up electrical taping that wire there and then the rest of it's pretty easy so everything just slides back on and then you have four screws at the top or two screws at the top two screws at the bottom they kind of lock the whole unit to the wall i'll tell you what these four screws the two in the top two in the bottom that were attached this main unit to like the Electrical housing part, those were a son of a gun. You gotta really line them up. I was actually pushing my whole body weight on the uh, on the charger because I'm not sure how flat my wall is to get those holes to line up and to get those screws to sink in. But now that it's all in, it's super sturdy. Last but not least, we can hang our wire over the top of it. Super nice and clean. Nice cable management. And we're ready to flip back on the breaker. Be right back. All right, the breaker's on. We have power. Now I gotta go through the Wi-Fi setup, plug it into the car and let it rip. Hey, this is Adam Hughes. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. It's charging, bing bong. Okay, closing this thing up. I've been using the, the wall connector for like three days now. And not once have I had a fault in my Tesla app or not once has it charged, has it not charged the car correctly? Like everything is working perfectly, right? I don't get the breaker that turns on. There's like a little internal breaker in the standard Tesla charger that turns on, that like clicks off essentially, that turns red. And then 
you think your car is charging and you plugged it in and you walked away and it showed it was charging. But then like five minutes later, you know, your phone gets a ping and you don't see it for an hour and you have to leave in 30 minutes. And it's like, well, I got 3% battery charge right off of whatever I was. And that's because it was only charging like five or 10 minutes. So that's my one gripe with the standard charger is it like very low quality in my opinion. Um, and it just doesn't work as advertised, like for as expensive as a car as Tesla's turning out, they should give you a better charger, be realistic. So anyway, that's just my point of view. The wall connector is fantastic. Um, yeah, it's everything's working the way it's supposed to, and it charges faster too. So there's that perk. All right, thanks for watching.